Monique Slaughter on dealing with issues after losing a daughter and a husband. This is the only time and this is the only way that people um, kind of acknowledge, respond, or sometimes even find out for the first time. So I'm going to say this. I don't play with the... Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I do not play with the deceased. I have lost 13 people in two years, including my daughter. The reason I switched up on that last slide is because my child, Masika's children, were present. She came out to get my phone because the children had come downstairs. I had to switch it up so my son didn't have to see me like that. That's one. Two. God rest my friend's soul. However, to lie on me and say I would ever call you about some BS about your son's passing and you didn't really know what I was on type thing, but I was married to his brother. For me to have to yet again receive. See, this is not me looking for this stuff. I didn't even know these things were being said. I'm receiving. So then I receive a call after you said your late son's son would have to stand in as the best man at my wedding. Only for me to find out you're telling people I'm delusional. Daryl, you too. You asked me what I needed. I told you what I needed. I haven't slept in three days. Bye. Now, with that being said, I have not slept. My ex-husband calls me. We stay on the phone for almost 12 hours. You then call the same woman you betrayed me with. To say she talks so much, I muted my phone. But let's talk about you going to wake your younger daughter, Raya, up while I was on the phone. That's not a muted mic. Let's talk about your mother coming into your room and saying, you're in the bed, she's in the bed. It's 2.30, are you guys going to get up? And you mumble. And your mom says, ha ha, you guys are living the life. Come get me when you wake up. You call me this morning after my video from Saturday goes viral. I was asleep, so I didn't answer. Then you text the same woman that you betrayed me with, had a whole conversation with her. After agreeing to repair your and restore your marriage, acted like that's not what was going on. Acted like you fell asleep on the phone with me by default. Mind you, I fell asleep. You woke me up because you weren't on mute. You went to wake up your daughter. Then your phone rang. I asked you, is that her calling you? You said yes. Come to find out today. She didn't even call you. So you just completely made that up. Morgan Hardman. Instead of you calling me to ask me what was going on between me and my husband. You called the other woman. I'm the one who was cooking breakfast Saturday morning, listening to gospel music when I caught the stray. Y'all came at me with this information. This was not something I know. I hadn't talked to my ex-husband since December. We're not even four months in. Don't call me and tell me, oh, you're better than that. And da -da -da. Fuck you. Fuck you. One minute, 37 seconds later. I will be right back on Beyonce's internet. Because I ain't Beyonce. I ain't never finna be Beyonce. I ain't finna have no career like Beyonce. Ain't nobody finna give a fuck about me like they give a fuck about a Beyonce. So I don't have to be quiet. I don't have to not address a peon or a peasant. Bitch, you played with me. You tried me. And you're fucking... Listen, I wrote a book about my heartbreak. You think anybody gave a this ain't lemonade, bitch. This real life. 
Ain't nobody gave me no motherfucking lemons. Niggas gave me. Toxicity can be flushed out. Person will kill you. You tried to kill me. And I refuse to go down without a fight. See, just because you didn't do it on the internet don't mean you didn't fucking do it, bitch. And nobody finna call me. See, when I reached out privately to my ex-husband this morning after he called the other woman, crickets. But you called her though. Okay. So now when I get to chit-chatting, I don't want to hear it. Because the other woman called me and told me you called her. That's the only reason I even know that. Only reason I knew you was fucking with the other woman was because she called me. You dumb. And I just don't understand. Shout out to Marissa and Oli Choppa's baby mama. Love her to death. She has sent me some of the prettiest wigs ever. She did her dirty. She went to the internet. She cried. She tore her down. Tore her down after she, after she lost her child. And she and I were going through the same thing at the same time. We supported each other through that at the same time. She can move on. Thanks for tuning in to 9MAG TV.